My name is Craig McLean. We're in Connemara on the west coast of Ireland. The weather here at the moment is nice and hot. We, uh, we've just finished our routines with the fish. They are, they're all fed for the day and uh, now we're just here enjoying the sunshine. So we're here today in Scribe. We have a hatchery here where we produce organic fish and we also do a, a lot of restocking of the rivers. So we will take the eggs in around Christmas time and we will look after them until they uh, need food. And then when they need food, we'll put them out into their bigger tanks. And the wild fish, we will restock in the rivers where we can find places that would be suitable. We will bring the fish through. We will check them every day for the amount of food that they have and they need. We will check them for, if in case they have any parasites or they become unwell. So when the fish, fish reach about four or five grams, we will, uh, we will move them out to our lake site. The lake site is, has a, some, some salt water coming into it. So that is very, very good for the fish. It keeps them very clean because they have salt water and they have fresh water. Uh, when they are finished in the cages, a helicopter will come and we will fly them in a bin to our local sea farms. The helicopter can take 3,000 fish in a, in a bin and it takes them about seven minutes to put the fish into the sea. The normal way or the old way we would do it is you would have to put them on a, a boat and then a truck and that would take about four hours. So the helicopter is for stress for the fish, the helicopter is much, much better. My name is Bobby, um, I'm the farm manager here at Bradon Bio in uh, Kilkieran Bay in Ireland. So all of these fish, the fish that would have been in all these cages, they came in between October 2016 and December 2016. The biggest fish started coming out at the end of November last year, so they'd only been 13 months at sea. And um, the slower growing ones we're taking out now. We, we'll have the site empty in a month's time. There's 16 cages on the farm and each cage can hold up to 90 tonnes of fish. The way we take the fish off the farm is, which is they're, they're crowded together, they're pumped up onto the well boat and they're slaughtered humanely with a percussion stunner. Um, from there, they're put into the well boat in an ice slurry and the boat steams across the Kilkieran at the far side of the bay where they um, are pumped into tankers which go to the factory, which is only about a half a mile up the road from the pier where the boat stops. So I'm Jordan, I'm working with the ISPG, Kilcurrent Salmon, for a number of years. So currently the fish arrive in the pier in Kilcurrent. They're transported with bulk tanks up to our processing facility. Each tank takes roughly about two and a half hours to process. At this stage we gut them and we ice them. We keep them in refrigerated uh, storage uh, until they're shipped to our customers. ISPG was set up as a cooperative back in 1986. The processing facility was set up in 1989. Uh, it allowed our producers to process all their products locally and efficiently and manage it in a cooperative. Uns kommt der Biolachs auf Eis angeliefert. Wir tun ihn dann ins Wasser zum Wässern, zum den Schleim lösen und gehen dann in die Zerlegerei, wo wir den Fisch zerlegen und spülen und salzen und lassen ihn dort dann zwei bis drei Tage im Salz. Mein Name ist Marcel Giger, ich bin hier Betriebsleiter in der Firma Dierberg. Wir tun den Lachs ins Salz, damit er konserviert wird. Das heisst, wir tun ihn trocken salzen. Nach dem Salzen müssen wir das, müssen wir das noch einmal abspülen, das Salz. Es ist schwerer, viel zu scharf, um 
konsumieren auch noch für den Kunden und tun dann auch im kalten Rauch über Buchen, Eichenholz, die wir dann auch räuchern. Dieser Prozess der dauert etwa zwischen zwei bis drei Tage und nehmen dann auch raus und tun dann weiterverarbeiten und parieren, wo wir die Haut wegnehmen, die Gräte von Hand ziehen und dann schneiden wir Beutel schneiden aus dem. Die nehmen dann nachher ab und wir tun aus denen äh, noch ein Sleeve drum, das Karton und werden dann auszeichnet und gehen so in Goldläden zum Verkauf.